session i'll i'll try to give the quick demo on how we can create a hello world program uh, in mac and how we can put it in the docker and how we can ensure that it's running successfully in the docker so let's quickly start with that so first what we have to do is just create a console application so dotnet I, I believe that you have dotnet sdk installed uh, in mac so if not please go to the microsoft site download it and install it so dotnet if you want to just ensure that dotnet is to get installed just press the dotnet and you would see the version that version is installed if not getting the version you can uh, just type version it will give you like which version is installed so uh, let's let's start with uh, you know uh, with small and quick demo on hello world program so dotnet new and uh, if you know like what kind of template that you want to use it so when we have the id visual interface we know that templates are available and we go and choose it but here if you just press dotnet new it will give you these kind of templates that we can create through this command line utility so if you want to create a console application i was i would you know use this name uh, so respectively based upon your the project type you use this sort name as well so dot net okay so i'm into current uh, contain documents folder so i'll create another uh, let's say console app 3 and go to console 3 and here into dot net new and i'm just giving the template so uh, it's creating a template okay here you go and uh, you can see that application is created program console or fcs project and object folder so let's dot net and run and just make sure that it's, it's running successfully you know so till now it is dot net now i'm going to you know show you that how we can put this whole program into docker so you can see that docker is installed and it's running here okay so if not then again again i believe that you have docker installed the mac version and it's showing here and the status is docker is running so if you want to see that whether docker is running or not just put the docker command it will show you this okay so uh, so we have the application we have the doc docker installed now we want to uh, just make the build the image of that you know uh, the version the program so dot net okay sorry docker okay so uh, let me just quickly see that what is the you know the syntax is the build and this is the basically the command so uh, docker build minus t and the application name that you want to the image name that you want to define for this application so let's say first app third in the whole folder this is the basically uh, to create the image okay so it's saying that unable to find the docker file so again so this tool the docker tool basically see the docker file into that folder and basis upon that they tweak or they customize the whole image so what we have to do now we have to create an image uh, sorry docker file into that how this docker tool would function so i have three you know written file which is like this so let me just copy it and i'll create a new file so the first version is basically saying which build is basically this uh, the program is based on so if you go to the dotnet site and uh, here you can say the docker here you can see that it is supporting linux and amd version this is the version the build version that i'm using it so yeah here it is so I believe this is the latest one so uh here we go yeah so this is 
the from which is the base of uh, this is base required for application to run the work dir so work dir is basically sets that you know the working folder and it's copy the cs project file into that folder and when you do the restore command it's basically resolve all the dependencies that project file has and again copy the whole source file into that folder and this is the command finally when everything is done dependency is run resolved file copied you have to just fire this command this is what it is all about so i'm just going to save this file save and you must be saving in the same folder so documents in console app 3 and this is the folder and i'm sure you are changing the file name docker file this is the extension that you have to give okay here we go now see ls l docker file now you run the same command docker build fnt this is the image name and this is the folder of the project so once done you would see that these are the things which docker is doing it and you got the image now so how to check the what all images we have already so docker images so you would see that oh the whole set of you know uh, yeah this is the image okay so uh, we have to run this uh, image so dot net sorry docker run this is the command that you have to give and uh, if you want to put the container name uh, container where uh, this uh, the image get into and will run so the name let's say my third container and the image name is first app 3 and you can see that oh great so as you can see this application has got run and we got this command which is running from the uh, container itself if you want to see what all container we have docker.ps will show you that you know since it is not running otherwise it would give you like what all program is in running in the container since the program we got to exit so that's why you are not able to see that so uh, this is a very brief about how the programs can be you know built from the command prompt and uh, you can put it in the container and just make sure that program is running within the docker itself thank you so much